the the thing with Tortorella, Columbus Blue Jackets. What happened with that? I uh, I was in the south, so I didn't I didn't see the game or anything. What was going on? It. Uh, <clears throat> so we were on like an eight game losing streak, and uh, we were in San Jose the game before, and our line had a goal and an assist, and we got to Vancouver. We didn't we didn't practice because we played whatever we didn't have a morning skate we got to the rink and uh bob called the fourth line in. and he's like listen you guys had a good game the other night you're the only line that hasn't quit here in the last couple of games um you haven't started the game all year and uh, i'm gonna start you guys tonight i think you deserve to start and uh he just left at that we left that little coaching room in Vancouver in the back room there, and I just got the guys together. I'm like, listen, boys, they start their fourth line. Let's just fight them. Who else was and on your line? It was me, Kevin Westgarth, Blair Jones. Oh. may have their hands full early in this game, Kelly, because both teams are starting their fourth lines tonight, including Tom Sestito for the Canucks and Brian McGratton for the Flames. They've fought three times over the last two years. And uh, I said, Let's just fight them. Who cares? If we lost nine, who cares if we lose ten? We're not all- <laughs> so we all kind of went through who we were going to fight and we picked out. I'm like, oh, you boys, my boys know who I got. And then we're like, they called this big kid up from the minors on Van. I'm like, Westy, you get him. Blair Jones, I'm a Jonesy, you fight Dale Weiss. And then the D can fight each other. And the goalies want to fight, you guys can go. So we kind of planned on how we were going to do it. And then – I didn't know that kid was a centerman, right? So <laughs> Kevin Westgarth goes to take the draw. He's never taken a draw in his life. He's holding his stick like a golf club. And the um, the ref didn't know what to do. Like, the ref didn't know how to drop the puck, where he was in. Because then he had Bieska coming in and out of the draw to fight. And it's weird because me and Bieska grew up together since we were, like, eight years old. We're, like, really mm-hmm. good friends, right? <laughs> and Bieska's coming in, um, in and out of the draw. I don't know if he wanted to fight Westy or was trying to break out. Anyways, ref drops a puck, full on five on five brawl. And here we go. Line brawl to start this game. Westgarth and BX are separated. Sestito and McGratton back at the blue line. Torch is angry. Is he ever? He's looking directly at the Calgary Flames bench. So we got two fights going on. Kevin BX is now with. Schmid on the near boards, and it's Westgarth and Lane near the Vancouver blue line. Will Sestito and McGratton go out it near the Calgary blue line? We all go to the box, and everybody gets kicked out but me because I technically my gloves hit the ice first, so I was the first fight. And everybody <laughs> no was kidding. the second fight, right? So the other uh, the other four guys per team got kicked out but me and Sestito. And... Um, Anyways, the period ends. I don't think anything of it. Nothing. Shane O'Brien, I'll never forget. Shane O'Brien was in front of me. He walked in the room first, and then the coaches walked in between us in the room, and then I got nudged. And I'm like, what the hell? I look down, it's torts. He's like, F- you, Bob. I'm going to kill you. You're dead. I'm going to kill you, Bob. <laughs> and I was like, and it was like right in the doorway. And, you know, I just stiff-armed him out out in the hallway, but you can't really see it. The glove dryers were there, right? So I kept pressing them into the, the glove dryers and he was snapping. Nobody had a clue that that camera was there because I guess they only put that camera there for Hockey Night in Canada. So if that wasn't Hockey Night in Canada, that wouldn't, there would have been no footage of the hallway stuff. Because when I had him pin straight out, right, I'm like, his question comes, like, should I hit him? Like, should I just drop him? And, uh, I kind of peeked down both hallways for a camera that would be maybe hanging yeah. half of it. And we, nobody had any idea that it was that roof camera that caught everything. If it was like a Wednesday night game, there's no way that would have. Uh, I think you would have been fine popping them with a left or something. I, yeah, it was, I gave a couple really good <laughs> stiff, like really good straight arms. <laughs> that would have, but, you would have been the hero for so many people. <laughs> <laughs> I just that, started dummy in courts. That guy bag skated me for so many months. I could not stand him. I would where, have loved where, it. Where, where'd you have him? With uh, the Rangers. Oh, in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because he's like Mr. When I was in New York, he started our fourth line to fight the Devils, the line brawl. So I don't yeah. know why he would 
be so worked up about that. He yeah. loves fighters. I don't get it. Because he said in the, you know, in the post game presser, he's like, you know, I can't have my guys in my torts. Do you think I would ever jump Daniel or Henrik Sedin? Like, come on, bud. Nobody no jumps way. skill guys. No way. We would have, whatever, had our shift, went off the bench and then fought your fucking guys in the third shift of the game instead of the first. It was coming. Whatever yeah. shift we, we would have went out against them, it was, we were fighting them. 